we're picking out the colors for Karen's new project. This will be a long project. We'll start today and maybe end in the spring. So see this big overgrown bush? We actually picked this up from a plant store. It was on the clearance aisle because it had like one branch and didn't look like it was gonna live. Well, look what it did. It branched out like this. In the spring and summer, purple and white flowers bloom on this and the hummingbirds flock to this bush. So our goal is to put a nice painted picket fence around it to keep this back and uh, make it more desirable to us and the hummingbirds. That's the challenge. Well, we're gonna cut this bush back. Yeah. Go get him, Karen. It's a butchery. This is a uh, cedar picket. It's one of Karen's projects, but it's really rough. She wants to paint, be able to paint on here, so I've got to get this sanded down at least so it's paintable. But we'll see what we can do. This should be a good project. see it too well in the camera but that is really nice that is definitely paintable so I've got 20 of these to do and then the next step will be off to Karen while she do her painting stuff and maybe by the springtime we'll have this complete well, we got it pretty smooth. It took two grits, a coarse grit and a medium grit. And now I got to take it through another sander to get the sides. So let's see how we do. This is a picture of our spray booth. Karen is preparing the boards. This will be one of many, many processes that take place. Isn't that right? That's correct. And can you tell people what exactly you're doing? Well, I'm going to spray paint it. I'm going to make it look like the blue sky and at the bottom, I'll paint part of it green <clears throat> to look like grass. And then I'll paint flowers on it. I'm get the sides. There's a hair. Spray painting didn't work out too good. You use too much paint, and this goes on much better. It's exterior paint. I put on two coats. I did the sides first. 
in with this. I'm not doing the back side, but you won't see it. <laughs> and as Karen paints the boards, they'll stay out here to dry. When they dry, this what's this is what happens. That light turns on, and that means the next person in the production line does the next job. Yeah, I wonder who that would be. And that would be Karen. She would do the next job of the production. Well, they're not dry yet, but that's what'll happen when they all dry. I run out here, I turn on the light, so she knows she can. Oh, thank you. Go to the next process. Oh, that's your job. Good job, honey. Thank you. I try to help as much as I can. Oh. So, that's it for this. At least this part. Say bye bye, Karen. Bye bye. But we'll be back. We're not done. Oh, no. I decided to paint the centers of these green and then I'll splotch it with some different colors like maybe yellow or orange or this takes at least three coats there's four coats of the yellow on here so Each flower is different, so make them your colors however you want. I'm just shading the bottom part next to the going to do the dots in the center of the flower so I'm using a stylus I have two different ones probably use this then or if you want you can also use a toothpick or bend part of it off so, sunflower is kind of big I've got black paint the end of a paintbrush Switch over to the orange flower. I'm going to do that yellow. Probably use my smaller flower, smaller dip dots. Dip dots? I call them dip dots. Okay. They're dips. They're dot. You dip it and you dot it. A dip dot. Therefore, dip dot. Of course, if you ever mess up, that's why you have your handy Q-tips, so you can dip it in water and wash it off real quick. In this case, I don't have to do.
and I dampen the sponge and I have it on my palette here so I'm going to just dip it in there a little bit and before I just dot it on the board I'm going to get some of it off so I'm just going to dot it different places here Then I'm going to start putting on the clouds People like to use an old paintbrush. bush and it'll grow back oh, yeah. and then this is going to be what we attach the pickets to so stay tuned progress is being made Turned out pretty good. Karen's an artist. Got to cut one little more, and this will be complete. I didn't think we'd get this done till the spring. Here we are. The project is complete. I really like it. And it even didn't take us till spring like I thought it would. Yeah, it didn't take that long. So we'll see put some sealant on the screws, putty it with silicone, and then paint it over it, and so we'll keep applying different coats of that till it's all dry. Nice job, Karen. Nice job, Walton. High five! <laughs>